Let us pray. Almighty and ever living God, come before you, Father, this morning. We thank you and glorify your name because you have been a good Lord to us. Thank you for this Father that you have brought us. Thank you for your care. Thank you for everything that you have done to us and the gift of life that you have given us, Father. Right now, Father, we are at your temple. We ask you to be with us, Father, as we want to praise your name and to worship you, Father. May your name be glorified. May you be with us, Father, as we start until we finish. And in Jesus' name we pray. We start our service this morning by opening our books, page one. And we start with number one, the Lord be with you. And also with you. We have come together, the people of God, drawn by his spirit, longing for his word, to praise the holy name of the Lord, to share his glorious news of grace, to pray for our needs and the pain of the world, to rejoice in his love and be sent in his peace. We are heirs of the Father, join heirs with the Son, renewed in the Spirit, together we are one. I'll read two verses from the opposite side of the book. This is the one I esteem, he who is humble and contrite in, in spirit and tremble at my word. That comes from Isaiah 66, verse 2. I will set out and go back to my father and say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Luke 15, verse 18. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins in repentance and trust, God is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins. So let us confess them to our Father. We continue together in Article 3. Eternal Father, God of our ancestors, before your power all things tremble, but through your Son we have brought you a throne. We have done wrong and neglect to do right. Our sin weigh heavily on our hearts. Lord, have mercy. Come them not against us. Grant us the joy of forgiveness. And lighten our hearts with the glory of Christ, who died and rose again for us. Amen. Take of five. Lord of mercy, grant us your pardon and peace that cleanse from our sins and with peace in our hearts. We may be free to serve you through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are those who live in your house. They will always be singing in your presence. Praise the Lord. The name of the Lord be praised. We stand to glorify God. Glory to the Father in whom all things began. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Son who became the Son of Man. Glory, Glory to the Spirit who inspires and renews the Lord our God, God forever. forever. Amen. At this time, we'll hear our reading, our, our reading for the day come from the book of John 16, verses 17 to 33. And I will read. A little while, and you see me no more. Again, a little while, and you will see me no. See me. Some of his disciples said to one another, what does he mean by this? A little while, and you will not see me and again, a little while, and you will see me. And by this, because I am going to my father, so they asked, what, what is this little while that he speaks of, of? We do not know what he means. Jesus knew that they were wanting to question him and said, are you discussing what I said? A little while and you will not see me and again. A little while and you will see me. In, in very truth, I tell you, you will weep and mourn, but the, the word will be glad. But though you will be plagued in, in grief. Your grief will be turned to joy. A woman in, 
in labor is in pain because her time has come. But when the child is born, she forgets the anguish in her joy that a man has been born into the world. So it is with, with you. For the moment, you are sad at heart, but I shall see you again. And then you will be joyful and no one shall rob you of your joy. When that day comes, you will ask nothing of me. In very truth, I tell you, if you ask the Father for anything in my name, he will give you. So far, you have asked nothing in my name. Ask and you will, be, you will receive that your joy may be complete. Till now, I have been using figures of speech. A time is coming when I shall no longer use figures, but tell you of the Father in plain words. When that day comes, you will make your request in my name. And I do, I do not say that I shall pray to the Father for you. For the Father loves you himself because you have loved me and believeth that I came from God. I came from the Father and have come into the, the world. Now I am leaving the world again and going to the Father. His disciples said, now that you know everything and do not need to be questions. Because of this, we believed that you have come from God. Jesus answered, do you, know, do you now believe? Look, the hour is coming, has indeed already come. When you are all to be scattered, each to his home, leaving me alone. Yet I am not alone because the Father is with me. I have told you all this so that in me you may find peace. In the world you will have trouble, but courage, the victory is mine. I have conquered the world. That is the, the word of God. We now stand and sing hymn 252, Rock of Ages. You sing? Rock of Ages, left for me. Let me hide myself in thee. Let the water and the blood from thy riven side which blow be of sin the double cure cleanse me from which is the <coughs> not the labor of the hands can fulfill thy Lord demands could my seal no respite no could my tears forever flow all for sin could not atone. Thou must save and thou alone. Nothing in my hand I bring. Simply to the cross I cling. Naked I come to thee for dress. Helpless look to thee for grace. For I to the fountain fly, wash me, Savior, or I die. While I draw this feeling breath, when mine eyes close to death, when I saw to us I known, see the on the judgment throne. Rock of ages cleft for me, let me hide myself in thee. Praise God, Church. At this moment, I want to pray so that we can 
hear our word. Almighty God, I come before you, Father. Father, I ask for your words to give to your people, my God. Let your word be of a helping to your people, my Father. As I'm standing here, may I speak only those that you have given me. May your words be of a helping to your people at this moment. And in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Brethren, I stand here before you this day for the goodness of the Lord who has brought us together, who has given us another chance this day to be at his temple and to be in this world. And because of his gracious love, he has given us a chance even to worship him and to praise his name. He is a loving father. And he tells us that there is time for everything. And today, I want to talk about the sadness that will turn to joy. As we have read in John 16, from verse 17 to 33, it tells us of how we grieve at one time. We grieve when we are sick, when we lose our loved ones. We grieve when we, and we weep. We cry because of the things that happens to us in this world. And the Bible also tells us that there will be a time that such like will get us. And we have seen it and we have experienced it. But God is telling us that within a while, just for a while, we will be joyful. We will be joyful and we will not even remember the sadness that we had before. Just because he is with us. His promise is faithful. As we, are, as we know that we have come from far, a time reached that every person was alone. But God is telling us that at any time, we should never think that we are alone because he is with us. He is on our side. And as we read even in Psalm 66, we should praise God because he does wonders in our lives. Our God protects us from all the enemies. He preserved us from the evil one that normally comes to destroy, to damage, and to kill. There is none like our God. Psalm 66 also tells us that God managed to overcome and became victorious. He overcame the evil. And he is victorious up to today for us and for nobody else because his love is upon us. The only favor God wants us to do for him is to praise him and to thank him and to give to him all that we have because we know all that we have comes from God. All that we see on this earth comes from God. So even if he wants it, we should be loyal and give it to him. We should do right to make God happy. To show him that we are thankful is just to be righteous. In Luke 6, from verse 1 to 11, tells us about the Pharisees 
who saw what the disciples were doing on the Sabbath and started asking questions, criticizing the wrong they were doing. But Jesus healed the man with a shriveled hand on a Sabbath. So, God shows us that he can do anything at any time, no matter which day, even if it is on a Sabbath. We should praise him in any day and in, at any time, and wherever we are, because he is gracious, and his love upon us we cannot measure. God is so wonderful and his deeds are marvelous to us. There is none we can compare with. People look at us with excuses. They see mistakes we do. We should not dwell on the mistakes that others do. But if we see mistakes we should correct with love. Just call somebody, have a sitting with, the, with him or her, and tell him the mistake you have seen. That is correcting in love. We should always be doing the right thing because wherever we are, God is there. Never forget that God is beside you. We should not listen to evil-minded people talking about others, talking about things that doesn't glorify the name of God. Never be tired on serving God at any time because the health and the breath you have in you to make you alive comes from God. So at any time that God wants you to do for him some work, be ready. Let us be ready like soldiers of the, of, of the, the, the Lord. As we are soldiers of the Lord, we are always ready to do any work. God will stand for us at a time of need. He will bless us. He will fight for us at the time that we need him. He will never be late for, for you to trust in him. And that God will never be late to rescue you from the evil one. The only thing he needs from you is to trust him and obey. As he has told us, even in his word, and as we have read in so many verses in the Bible, we know the work of God is marvelous. We remember Hannah's, Anna being barren. She was never barren forever, but God rescued her. Abraham was childless for so many years. But God proved the world wrong and gave Abraham a child. Lazarus died and he took four days in the grave. The family members were very sad, and even the people of the area. But what did God do? He came the last minute and rescued Lazarus. He woke him up, and people saw the miracle that God did. Jairus' daughter died, but when the family cried for him, he raised the daughter up. That is a miracle done 
by God. So, let us humbly remember all the things that we read in the Bible that God does for us. Because whatever God does, no other person on earth can do. It is only God and God alone. It is only God who do to us all the things that we need from him. If we ask him, he gives us. If we, we are eager to see his face, he showed himself to us. He talks to us. All this we can only prove when we trust and obey God as our Lord and Savior. Our God is truthful to us and he never fails. As we know that this time we are in is a time of corona. Even in January, nobody knew there will come, there will be a sickness called corona. We didn't know it will come to attack the whole world. But through God's mercy, we are here praising his name, worshipping him, talking of his glorious deeds, because he is marvelous. He has moved with us through up to today. Since corona started, we have passed through thick and thin, but our God, our loving Father, is beside us. Even if we sleep without food, he is beside us, and we have not died because of that. And on top of that, this sickness, corona, has not attacked us. And even if it comes to attack us, God, our Father, is with us. We should always trust and obey him. Believe in him because his work never fails. He knows everything. And in whatever we are passing through, God knows and he knows because he will give us a way to escape. He will be victorious for us just as he did before when he died and rose again for us. He died for our sins and rose to save us. So, brethren, we shall never remain where we are. Never be worried of the situation that you are passing through. Because God knows and he will move you a step ahead from there. Let, never let your faith die. Be concerned with your faith in God. Because God is God Almighty and he never changes. Never give up hope. But keep on keeping on. Because you are with your God. Never let the sound of Corona be louder than the voice of God's promise to us. Because Corona is just passing by. But our God remains with us forever. His promise is with us. This is just for a time. Soon it will go. And us be saved from the situation because God is our God. Let us believe in him. Let us worship him wholeheartedly. But in all, let us be righteous before him. Let us be truthful before him. Because he likes us to be truthful. He likes us to be righteous. He likes us to be hopeful. And God 
will save us from everything. As I close, always remember God is God and he never changes. And in everything he knows and he will give us a way out. So be blessed and may God bless you abundantly. Stay safe, stay at home, and be good to your neighbor. May God bless you. Thank you, Sister Mary, for the word of, for the word of God. And we may stand all for, the, for Article 17, Apostle, we say Apostle Creed all, all together. We stand together with, the, with Christians throughout the centuries and throughout the world today to affirm our faith in the words of, of the Apostle Creed. I, I believe in God, God the, Father the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I, I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our, our Lord. Lord who has conceived, conceived by the, the power Holy of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius, Pontius Pilate, was crucified, and died, and was buried. buried. He it. descended to the dead. On, On the, the third day, day he rose again. again. He ascended he into heaven. He, he is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, and the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. All together at 19. Ask, Ask and, and it shall be given unto you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened unto you. Alleluia, alleluia. As our Savior taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Now, Article 21. Show us your mass, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. O Lord, guide our president. And give him your wisdom and justice. May your ministers serve you faithfully. And your royal people joyfully. In the valley of the shadow of death. Protect us with your rod and staff. Like trees planted by the waterside. Grant us the fruit of your spirit. Send us out as the salt of the earth. And as the light of the world. May the earth be filled with your glory as the waters cover the sea. Prayer of the day. Today is Trinity Sunday. And I'll pray. Holy Trinity, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, we worship you, adore you, and put all our faith in you. Help us ever to abide by this faith and zealously defend it, for it is eternally abiding. Through the merits of our Savior Jesus Christ, who reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, days without end. Amen. Article 23, Prayer for Peace. Almighty and everlasting God, Father of the Prince of Peace, in returning and rest we are saved. In quietness and trust is our strength. Grant us the blessings of making peace and the joy of seeking justice. Take from our souls all strain and stress and let our ordered lives confess the beauty of your peace through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. At call 24, prayer for grace. Almighty God, you have been our guide through the night. Keep, a, keep us in your care through the day. 
walking in the light bearing witness to your way, seeking first your kingdom and seeing you in everyone. Guide us in the footsteps of your son and lead us on the path to your everlasting day. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Article 26, Prayer for the Nation. Almighty God, you rule all nations and direct them according to your will. We pray that you will guide our president and all leaders of our country so that they may always use the authority which you have given them for the peace of the world, the benefit, honor, and development of our nation, and the good of your whole church through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Prayer for the church. <clears throat> Almighty and eternal God, the only source of power, grant to our bishops, pastors, and all the people of our churches your health, giving spirit of grace, and in order that they may truly please you, pour on them the continual dues of your blessings. Grant this for the sake of our advocate and mediator, mediator Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Article 19, Prayer of Saints Christostomo. 29. Article 29, Prayer of Saints Christostomo. Almighty God, God, by your grace, grace we, we have come, come together, together at this time to bring our united prayers to you. You, and you have promised, promised by, by your Son, Jesus Christ, Christ that where two, two or three are gathered, gathered in his name, name, he will be in the midst, midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, Lord, our desire and petition as may be, be best for us, granting, granting us this world knowledge of your truth, and in the world to come life everlasting through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We will sing. Walk with the Lord in the light of his word. What a glory he shed on our way. While we do his good will, he abides with us still. And with all we will trust and obey. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. Not a shadow can rise, not a cloud in the skies, but his smile will it away. Not a doubt or a fear, not a sign nor a tear can abide while we trust and obey. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey. Not a burden we bear, not a sorrow we share, but at all he does richly repay, not a grief nor a loss, not a frown nor a cross, but is blessed if we trust and obey. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. But we never can prove the delights of his love and on all the water we lay. For the favor he shows and the joy he bestows are for them who will trust and obey. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. 
then in fellowship sweet. We will sit at his feet, or we'll walk by his side in the way. What he says we will do, where he says we will go. Never fear, only trust and obey, trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. We have come to the end of our prayer this morning. And before we say the grace, let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, come before you, Father. I thank you and glorify your name. For you have been with us as we started until now that we have come to the end. Father, thank you for being with us. Thank you for all that we have done. Thank you, Father, for your presence amongst us. Father, as we go out, we ask for your presence to be with us, Father. May you guide us. May you lead us. Remember even your people wherever they are, Father. May you bless them in whatever they are doing, Father. Bless them, Father, in whatever they are thinking and all their plans. Father, let your name be glorified. Even to your people that are sick, remember them wherever they are. May you heal them. Those that have lost their loved ones, those that are sick, Father, come along for them, Father. Remember each one of us, Father. We are your people and you are our Father. And you love us as you have promised. Father, let your promise be fulfilled, Father. As per your will, my God, as we live here, Father, be with us. And in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Christ himself and God our Father, who loves us and gave eternal comfort and good hope through grace, comfort our hearts and establish them in every good work and word. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you and be safe.